Welcome to the Telecomics tutorial for I2P Darknets. Uh, I'm going to show you this on a Windows machine today. Uh, and Windows is not a very good operating system and it's not very safe, but uh, it's commonly used. First you need to get Java working. And uh, if you don't have it, you can download it. Then you go to the I2P uh, site and you just install the exe file here. This installer is uh, very easy to use. Uh, basically, you just download it and it will run automatically. Also, make sure that your uh, operating system is patched and you have antivirus and uh, you have everything you need. So, once we have installed this, we run it and uh, we just uh, select English language uh, and basically you can just uh, go next on all the options that are given so with a few simple clicks the um, I2P server uh, is installed on your computer and it will create a few shortcuts here on your desktop so you just double click the start icon and you will see a small square down there at the start button and then you can just double click on uh, a link that is given which takes you directly to the router console and if you see the screen ITP software is working Now, in order to use I2P fully, you should download uh, the Firefox browser. Uh, because with the Firefox browser, you can use this plugin called Foxy Proxy. And here you can add uh, a link to the I2P software proxy, which is on port 4444. Uh, you just add it here. And then you can choose to go onto the I2P proxy. So now you are basically surfing inside the darknet. And in the beginning, your I2P software will need to uh, find peers. This is why you get uh, these screens in the beginning saying, we, we can't find the way yet. This will be faster. But for example, this site, radiofax.i2p, is inside the darknet and it can only be accessed from inside the darknet. Also, you can access um, the open internet. So, for example, here we go through the darknet tunnel to showmyip.com and showmyip.com will show the IP address of the exit node of the i2p network. This way, nobody can trace you back. Um, also, in order to set up a link to uh, chat anonymously with the telecomics crew, uh, you go to werebuild.eu and you go to the irc.telecomics.org uh, page in the wiki. And then there is a link to hook up uh, the I2P darknet to our IRC servers. So what you get here is one of these base URLs that are uh, used within the darknet. Uh, you copy this very long link and then you go to the router console uh, and here you can change one existing tunnel that is made for IRC and you just add this address instead of the default ones. Uh, this way you will be in the tunnel manager will be set up to forward port 6668 to the telecomics IRC server. So basically you can fire up any IRC client and then you tell the client to connect to localhost port 6668. This way uh, the IRC client will go into the darknet and here you will access our chat servers from inside the darknet. 
you can join the telecom Paquete channel and this is a bit slow but once you are in here now you are not traceable backwards thank you for listening <laughs>